Hello and welcome to your daily tarot with me, Cindy. And today we are going to delve into messages to you from Spirit. As always, if you have your own intuitive way of picking your card or your pile number, you can do that now. The timestamps will be in the description as well as pinned at the top of the comment section for the mobile users. If you would like help opening up your intuition, you can stay with me and I'll take you through a quick little meditation and, you know, kind of open that intuition up, help you to open up that intuition so that spirit can communicate with you and give you a number. So we're going to start that right now. Close your eyes. Listen to the birds. Take a deep breath. You're in a beautiful forest. It's an old forest. Many of the trees are so big, they block out a lot of the light. But an old, old, old tree it came down in the last storm. If you look up ahead, you will see bright, bright rays of sunshine just pouring through the forest in one spot. So I'm going to ask you to start walking over to that area right now. As you get closer, you will notice a big gnarly stump and it's all jagged. This is not a stump that was created by man. This is a stump that was created through a storm that was catalytic to this tree and it just crashed down into the forest. If you look down inside, you'll see that that stump was hollow. It was the times tree to come down. And inside the stump, there is an old, old piece of paper. It almost looks as if this piece of paper, it's like a piece of parchment that it was laying on the forest floor long ago when this tree was growing and the tree grew around it. But now that the tree has died and been exposed, this parchment sits inside the tree, the old, old hollow stump. You can reach inside, and when you're ready, you can open up this piece of parchment. And I think you will find a number was written inside for you. So when you're ready, open up your parchment and see what that number is today. And that's the number that Spirit is asking you to pick. So let's get started with pile number one. So your tarot card today is the Judgment card. Your anim animal spirit is the Black Egg. This is a spirit card. And the deck, nice. Your Shaman card is the Heart of Sky. So the heart of sky is about the, the beautiful life force energy that was the only energy that existed before anything else existed. This is that energy that created life, that created substance, existence, eventually consciousness in the universe. This energy does not know what right or wrong is, or good or bad is. Everything is just energy and it flows. So this card is coming to tell you that you are made up of this energy. So you have the ability of this energy to create, to bring things into existence. However, you have the consciousness within you to know what is good and bad for yourself. So that is something you need to keep in mind when you are co-creating with spirit and universal energies. The black egg here is a deep, deep truth inside yourself. So this egg is about to hatch. See how it's glowing? A beautiful warmth of purple around it. And this is spirit guided. So this is a message from spirit right now that there's a deep truth within you that it's time for that to come out. I feel that if you've picked this pile, you sort of know what that deeper truth is. 
And combined with the judgment card, this is about making that choice and moving forward. Making that judgment, looking at what has served you, what has not, what situation is beneficial, what is not, relationships that are and are not, and making that judgment, knowing your truth, your deeper truth, speaking it, and moving forward within your choice. And when you move forward within your choice, this is part of the step in co-creating with the universe, part of manifestation. All right. I hope you liked that. Leave a comment. Let me know how you thought of pile number one. Thank you. And now we're going to go to pile number two. Your first card is the Page of Pentacles. Very studious, solid energy. Your um, wild, untamed spirit is fish. There's a lot of energy in that card. Do you feel that? Look at that. Your shaman card is the holy mountain. Oh. Well, this is interesting. This is kind of interesting. I feel that this might be a message for people that have been studying, for people that have been at school, for people who've been knowing, learning something new, a new profession. You um, Maybe you're training for a new job. But I am getting a very strong feeling of... Um, school very strong so this this page she is learning she's in a learning mode she's a very uh, very hard working like when it's time to do what needs to be done she does do it but she's still young she's still learning what she needs to acquire to be most successful in life so perhaps she has finished her education but she now needs more practical experience so that she can, you know, become a knight and then a queen and then a king. So with the fish, I'm getting the message like a school of fish, which is funny because it's sort of um, amplifying this message here with the Page of Pentacles. So getting a very strong message about those who've been going to school, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, school, universities and colleges have let out um, here in in Canada, uh, we've got like one more week of school left, and I know in a lot of more southern states, people will already be out of public school. So this fish is coming, is surrounded by a lot of energy, a lot of energy, and um, this moon here is a, it's almost like it's, it's kind of like it's feeding the energy, but the energy almost feels in this card to me like it's coming in on the fish. So some of you may be feeling like a little depleted from all the work that you've been doing and all the studying. There's a moon energy here, like within the light of the moon here, there's, it's calm. Do you see like there isn't all this movement around? So, you know, this is also saying to you to take some time, take some time and go outside at night when everything is calm, everything is quiet, look at the moon and just absorb the energy. It's going to help you sort of recenter again. The holy mountain is about a journey, a journey into knowledge. Different kind of knowledge though than this knowledge. So this is, you know, book learning, theoretical, understanding um, practical example, examples of science and history and everything where this is the deeper aspect of yourself, the intuitive side, the deeper knowing side. So it's sort of time to, and it's, it's perfect timing in the sense of the calendar year that, you know, let's, let's put this aside for now and take a break and go deep inside. Maybe even with these two cards here, like with this acquiring some calming moon energy and this mountain here, might not be a bad time to go on a little camping trip or just camp out in your own backyard or at a local park if you're allowed to and just enjoy the peacefulness of that moment in the night for yourself. And it's gonna, it's gonna help shift you. You sort of need to be shifted out of this hardworking, studious energy, I feel. And perhaps you will feel like climbing a mountain after that. Thank you for number two. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of your number two. Did it resonate with you? 
All right, so we're gonna do number three. So what number three has for us? We have the King of Swords. Wild Untamed Animal is the beaver. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if I would call him Wild and Untamed. The Shaman card is the Smoky Mirror. Smoky mirror. You know, if you look at your reflection and you come out of the shower and it's all foggy, or perhaps if you were looking at a mirror like at a campsite and there was a lot of smoke, it would be the same effect. There would be parts of yourself that you couldn't see very well, parts that were not reflecting clearly, and you can see this in here like he's sitting in the water, but the reflection is not very clear. So you're not seeing yourself as clearly as you should be or seeing a situation around you as clearly as you should be. Beaver's very hard working. Sometimes like a beaver, beaver can be a little slow to get started in the morning, <laughs> but once beaver gets going, beaver could work for days, weeks, or years on a project without taking a break, like just Go, go, go. I mean, and you can believe it when you walk, you know, by a little river, there was nothing there. And you go by two weeks later, there's a full on dam. Like what? You did that just with your teeth? <laughs> like that's pretty hard working. So I feel though that there might be work overworking or over focusing on something to the point of distraction so that you're not acknowledging this. There's something that you need to acknowledge and observe that you're not really looking at right now. And with the Knight of Swords, this sword, this knight is sitting here poised, ready to to give information, ready to receive information. Feels like in this very mystical energy around this knight, unlike some of the other cards. Um, a lot of spirit energy around this knight, and I and the way this owl sits here on his sword, waiting intently, it's as if. It's as if your deeper self, your, I don't want to say your ego, but your deeper self in terms of knowing, speaking your truth, is dying to come out. But you've been keeping yourself over busy with something so that you're not taking the time to look to wipe the mirror clean. And really look at yourself. Look at the situation so that you can clear it, right? Because that's what you need to do. You need to clear the mirror so that you can see it properly. And then you can make the right choice about what it is you need to do to move forward in your life. Well, that was number three. Thank you. Leave a comment. Let me know how that resonated with you. And now we're going to do number four. So what does number four have for us today? Your tarot is the three of cups. It's a nice energy. Good times, good celebration. Untamed animal spirit is the horse. Now there is an untamed animal spirit. That is a beautiful stallion. Your shaman card is the medicine wheel. Oh, this is an interesting combo here. It's funny, with all these piles, I think I'm starting with the Shaman card first today. It's like the story is coming from the Shaman card and then the other information falls in after that. So why change now? So we're going to start with the Medicine Wheel. The Medicine Wheel is like the different cardinal points. So different points in your life, relationships, deeper knowing of self, how you use your energy in your life, how you see your life. So you're almost being asked to start, you can start at the south end of this cardinal, or south end, east end of this cardinal clock, and start working backwards, really looking at all these different points in your life and how they're going, really. It's almost like a self-assessment. It's um, by, by calling this the medicine wheel, you are at the point in a sense of doing the medical assessment on how things are going in your life right now. And by doing that, 
by looking at the different points in your life, you can identify which parts are doing better than others and which ones need work. It's really, it's just, you could almost sit down and do this with pen and paper, which what I think would be really helpful. I would almost do this. I think this is a great idea. This is a great card. So if we look at, and then if we, so this is a very untamed animal, this wild stallion, but he's also very grounded. So this is a balance. There's a lot of balance in this, this card to have the power that the horse does, but also just be able to stand still and observe, smell the air, feel what's coming towards them, move when they need to, attack when they need to. Like this animal is very balanced in itself. I'm sort of getting the message that this is a balancing energy that you are bringing towards yourself and you need to just do sort of this medicine wheel assessment. Really nice energy with this card, with the Three of Cups. To me, this is a celebration energy, celebratory with friends, deep feelings here with the cup and then they're in this bubble together, right? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling like there's certain parts of relationships for you that work really, really well. When you do this little medicine wheel project, if you want to, you know, to sit down and write down, pick four major aspects of your life. You know, it could be work, deeper knowing of self, um, you know, family, romantic relationships. You could go beyond that too. And just start writing down the pros and cons of different aspects of that. And I feel that you're going to, if you don't have this energy around you, if you don't recognize it through doing this project, by doing this little project, you're actually going to open your eyes to yourself and to your to your day-to-day -day life in a very profound way. And it's going to almost eliminate a blockage that's gonna bring in this energy for you that's gonna make you feel very stable and very aware of relationships and how, yeah, like really identifying people correctly. I think I'm gonna do this little project. I'm really getting a clarity here like that. By doing this little project, you are really gonna see things so clearly. After that, you're almost gonna look at your life like it's outside of the box. Like you're outside of the box. That's pretty neat. Wow, that's the first time I've had spirit come forward and recommend doing like a little project like that. I hope you liked number four. I thought that was interesting. I might actually do that. Leave a comment. Let me know. And that's it for today, my love. So have a wonderful day. Look after yourselves. Be gentle with yourselves. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.